do 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 do. Hi, how you doing? This is uh, uh, BK from ManfulWars.com here on Monday, March 23rd, 2020, downtown Toronto, Canada. I'm at College Park. I uh, just uh, typically self-quarantining, socially distancing, polite Canadian, politely acknowledge people, uh, and uh, and keep my distance or have a little self-respect, mind my business if they're acting rude or whatever. And I'm promoting polite patriotism at uh, at ManfulWars.com to help nice ladies and gents teach kids to be and, and to help us all look, talk, and feel great. Uh, and to uh, offline especially and to share great info that we find online offline with other people as better people making better places to live and so um, what I'm what I'm suggesting right now I'm documenting some of this stuff uh, for manforwars.com and for, for public record is uh, I'm saying that if men can stop people regular straight guys nothing to look at no one to look have to force you to look at them make everyone put up with an act like them so we all turn to the same zombies supposed to girls can relax get attention with regular straight guys or gay guys can do it with each other make it easier to talk or uh, maybe some trans guys can. Some people are jerks, something wrong. Some guys and girls are jerks, no matter what you are. But most people generally, you know, um, can do that. So, but if, 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 if men can stop acting, people from acting rude and sketchy with each other and making each other quiet and uncomfortable, act rude, sketchy, they have to act rude, sketchy back. And then running around shaking near strangers, running near strangers, rubbing up against, bumping into them, just to force them to see you get worked up and freak out for a second. Uh, then, uh, then, then, then we can communicate well about what's going on the virus, the martial law, the depression, um, uh, and, and, and the, all these possibilities, and we'll stop spreading the virus. We'll stop spreading the coronavirus or COVID-19 because you won't have people, you know, acting like zombies, looking for anybody that can mind their business, or look top, or feel great, or be funny, or happy, or smart, or good-looking, and then attacking them, trying to force them to put up with them until you have to do it back, and then you become a zombie, and then you run around shaking near people. So, um, so manforwars.com for more on that. Um, what I'll do now is I will uh, I will sort this out right and uh, make sure that's inside out so I'm not advertising in a place of mostly shut down business and uh, so here at, as I said just so there's no argument unless I can manipulate my cell phone 1124 a.m. Uh, on Monday March 23rd Let's take a look here, and then I'll head down to Eaton Center Bay Street, and we'll see what's going on. And like I said, if men stop people from acting rude and sketchy with each other, uh, then, then making each other uncomfortable, and then running around shaking near strangers, we'll be able to talk about what's going on, figure out the best options, and we'll stop the spread of a potential coronavirus. So, and personally, you know, what, what are you supposed to do if some uh, poor sketchy person is worked up shaking near strangers? If it's not your wife or girlfriend worked up shaking near, you know, in public, making everyone quiet and uncomfortable, then it's your responsibility. You know, to sort of say, hey, what's wrong? Or calm down, just don't make everyone uncomfortable. We're in public, right? But if not, if they just pretend, if they just, you know, if you say that, they run up for me, 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 my turn, right? That shows the brain, it's either mental illness or brainwashing, right? So if a mentally ill or brainwashed person is worked up shaking near strangers, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to bother them back? They'll say, hey, hey, hey put up with me, a rude, sketchy person running around the subway shaking near everybody. Oh, no, 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 bother you back. No. You're supposed to bother other people? Well, I gotta bother me, I'll bother you. I like you, I bother me, I feel bad, and I'll bother you. No, you don't. No. You don't bother him back. You don't bother somebody else. You're a polite Canadian. You have a little self-respect. Mind your business. Politely ignore it. And everybody feels better. You have self-respect. You're not a mess for yourself, other people. They like being ignored and want to stop. Instead of making everyone they know uncomfortable and running around trying to force strangers to put up with it, them acting sketchy. And everyone around relaxes. They feel better. So oh, less bothering people better than more. And, uh, and they can mind their business, or they can be super nice, because people are super nice to me. They're like, oh, I don't have to make each other uncomfortable, not really look at each other and act sketchy, you put up with me. No, 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 you can do, I'm, not, I'm not paying attention to that person doing that, not doing it back. And, and then people realize it's safe to be nice to you, as opposed to, hey, I'm gonna actually look at you. Gotcha, I forced you to see something ugly. Oh, yuck, not safe to be nice to you, right? So people are super nice, polite games are super nice. Men, women, professional, business-like, or friendly, or attractive, whatever, right? Um, and so that's just how people feel. And so that's what I got at manforwars.com. Um, <clears throat> so you don't, and, and, and they might be ignored. They'll, I've got lots of video, the last few years on video, of people running, shaking near while I'm just reading my phone, minding my business, and they're spinning around in circles and freaking out, running away. They worked up running away. And so as it gets worse and worse, it makes it harder, even in the best of times, to deal with things. Even on a perfect day, nothing bad happening, still sucks to make each other uncomfortable, run around shaking near strangers, try to bother them, right? 
But during a pandemic, it's even worse because then people can't communicate what's going on. People scare but can't talk. And then people make each other uncomfortable, then run around shaking near strangers, spreading the virus more, right? So um, anyway, um, so here we are. So this is Tim Hortons at College Park. And it appears to be open and essential service, right? <clears throat> And um, this could be big box communism, where all the big box, uh, all the big box stores take over, Walmart, Tim Hortons, uh, blah blah blah, uh, and then all the small businesses get destroyed, and then we've got sort of uh, only a handful of choices. We used to have a whole bunch. So this is College Park, fairly quiet. Convenience stores open, how convenient! Uh, when I was here on Sunday, there was some nice people in line. Oh, it's okay. If men help people stop acting rude and sketchy with each other, and they won't make each other uncomfortable and quiet, and then they won't run around shaking near strangers. They won't make it hard to talk, and they won't make it hard to stop spreading uh, uh, the pandemic. Right? Now, if it's your wife or girlfriend worked up not saying anything, you should sort that out. But otherwise, it's not really, uh, it's really none of your business. If they, they can't explain, oh, they finish. Everyone's happier. You just politely ignore it. Then they're happier, light be ignored, want to stop. You have a little self-respect, mind your business. Everyone around gets to relax and feel better. So, so there was a line up here on Sunday of people about uh, 10 feet apart. And then they were letting a certain number of people into the store. But at the same time as there's that lineup of polite Canadians politely lining up apart from each other, socially distancing, there's also people, because men, men stop it, it's fine. But if not, acting rude and sketchy and running around shaking near strangers. So right here... You'd see people politely lined up 10 feet apart, not coming too close to each other. And then just right beside it, you'll see people running around shaking, worked up, forced you to put up with them, right? Now, if it's your wife or girlfriend, fine, but otherwise they can't do anything else, right? They make people uncomfortable. You have to bother them back. And if men help people stop, then uh, they should be fine, right? Otherwise, they, they, can't, they don't care if there's a pandemic. They don't give a shit. <laughs> they have to get worked up and bother strangers. They have to get worked up and run near hundreds of strangers a day. Right? And some of them are very lonely because there's not many strangers around. If you make everyone uncomfortable acting rude and sketchy, and then you want to run around trying to force strangers to put up with you and there's not many around, it's kind of hard. It's like a lonely zombie. It's like when there's lots of people around, zombies are like, yes, 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 make everyone zombie, run around. But if there's none, then you're walking for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Then as, you see, as soon as you see somebody, you can get worked up, run up, shake and bother them. And then you have to wait another 5, 10 minutes and then, and then whatever, right? So it becomes tough. But if men help people stop acting rude and sketchy with each other, and then bothering strangers, they'll be able to talk about what's going on, and they'll be able to stop the spread of this pandemic, right? Hey, you know, you get embarrassed and lie and argue, you can't say anything, you know how it is, right? So it's like a, all of a sudden you're arguing with your pretend grumpy wife or girlfriend, this is nine years. So Tim Hortons is open here as well, so two Tim Hortons open here at College Park. Right, and there's the grocery store. And again, I tried to lose my self-respect to take anybody else's. It wasn't that bad before. When it first started, you know, many years ago, you could just look away. Right? People would be like, hey, how's it going? Put up with me. Has... And you'd be like, ugh, gross. And you'd look away and they'd stop. They'd get embarrassed. They'd put their hand down. Oh, stop. Oh, never mind. He, he, he. Oh, just being stupid. Right? But as it gets worse and worse and people talk less and less and do it more and more, that's what happens. So that's an example here at College Park. And then we'll take a look. I mean, it's well for you to put up with them, make you both uncomfortable, make it hard to do anything else than bother somebody else. So it used to be, it's either mental illness or brainwashing, typically. Um, it was mental illness, mental illness. Hey, it's serious. You know, whatever. But brainwashing, brainwashing. Fine. Man, man can help people stop and then done. Right? So, hey, it's no big deal. So, dental office is open, essential medical service. And otherwise, most of College Park is shut down. No, oh, oh, no big deal. Oh, it's okay. If men pe stop people from acting rude and sketchy, they'll stop shaking near each other and running away and then bothering strangers. And then they'll, they'll be able to talk about what's going on and they'll be able to stop the spread of the pandemic and whatever. So. <clears throat> oh, it's fine. They might be fine with it. So anyway, BK Black Krishna from ManForWars.com. That was College Park. And then we'll head south and we'll pick it up from there. Hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon.